Hi guys, welcome back to the uh, Nightmare Project. We've got mail. Okay then, let's get these indicators on. I think I'm going to have to take the backlight off so it's just two ten millimeters. Ten millimeters. Nooks. So let's get these off. Put the light out. Here we go. They're the left indicators. They're the right ones. So now we've found the wires, attach our indicators. Okay, so let's plonk that in there. Plonk. Get that bolt through. Nice and tight. Looks like I'm going to have to cut these off and put these type on. Get them out of the way. I think I can cut all that off. I think I might just do that. Let's cut all that off at access. Spare the wires. Should do it. Blue connector. Then cream feet. Plug black into black and blue into brown. We can go and press our switch and see if anything happens. <laughs> on to the next one. This one I'll just bolt on there for now, like that. So I've got to leave this loose until I uh, get the plastics back on. Be the wires again. Crimp the new connectors on. We go plug the um, blue into the green and the black into the black. <laughs> we can go and switch the ignition on. Yep. The ignition off. That's that. Now we just need the front one. So let's get the uh, final indicator on. ignition on, see if it works. Aha! Final indicator. Done. So that's one side back on. So that's that side done. Yes, we've got our uh, new coils. Well, new second hand coils. Hopefully, 
How many times have I said that? Hopefully. Yeah, let's just stick them on, shall we? The old coils. There's the bloody wires. Yeah, the old coils, as you can see, these have got some sort of clip on them, on the wires. We think you'd just pull them back and then that would pull out, but I tried it on this one. Tried to pull the clips and they just disintegrated. And then the wires did just come out. Well, there should be pins in both sides, a bit like your HT caps where you screw your wires into. But these are just pushed into these pins. And this pin is still there, but the wire was rusty. And that pin just had disintegrated with rust and corrosion. And I pulled the wire out and it was just covered in corrosion and rust. So definitely needs a changing whether that's the problem or not let's find out okay then so let's get one and four coiling that wants to go that wants to go on there get this red on the bottom or was it the other way around cannot remember Ten mil bolt in to hold it for now. Can find the bloody hole. That's it. And on this side, don't forget the uh, little earth wire goes behind the fixing bolt. I can't remember whether that was on the top or whether it was on the bottom. It's probably number one capping. There we go. It's probably number four capping. There's a securing point for the wires on these, so you just stick them back onto them. There we are. Now on to the next one. Okay, so this is two and three. I'm just to go through to that side. Going to number two, and wants to be bolted onto there. Right on the bottom. Grey on the top. It's probably wrong, but I'll have to check back on the video. I can't remember where the fucking wires went. I think that's right. It was either that way or the other way around. Okay. Let's get number three. Plug it in. Put these clips back on. Uh, push that one into the top 
channel. Keep everything nice and neat. Come back round to this side. Here are we. Now, looks got to go over the top of that one. So we can plug it back into its channel. Like so. We could plug it back into its spark plug. Find these other clips, put these other clips on. That's about right. It seems nice and tidy. Let's get some petrol into this baby. Let's put some fuel into our very special fuel rig. Let's turn our ignition on. Pull our choke out. Press the button. Got petrol leaking out everywhere, look. Get this petrol all wiped up because this very expensive engine paint, you get petrol on it. Washes it off. Probably better off getting some barbecue paint or something like that. Yep, as you can see, look, let's wash the paint right off. Load of fucking crap. Still sounds a bit farty, but let's let it warm up a bit first. bit better when you cover the weed job. We're getting steamy. Stick you on there. Still don't sound right at that. So yep. No cigar, 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 no cigar up to yet. Let me just swap these wires around because I'm not totally sure they're right. The red one down the bottom. Orange one at the top. Put this red one at the top. Grey one down the bottom. Let's try again. Yes, you've guessed it. No cigar as yet. So as we all know, number four cylinder has been burning too rich. Spot plug is always black and sooty, like a fluffy sooty, sort of dry as a bone. So I've never really been confident on it being an electrical fault. Because you know, if it wasn't sparking correctly, I would expect the spark plug to be wet but it's not wet at all so going back to the carburetors the air mixture screws I've mentioned them before it just so happens that number four is totally seized in there it's just welded itself in there there the brass fuel air mixture screw has just decided to live in there forever as you can see it should look like that I've just 
ripped away all this, took it all away, made another groove in the screw, still wouldn't budge whatsoever. Ended up drilling a hole through it and putting my uh, bolt extractors in it, still just no luck whatsoever. Anybody knows a cheap way of getting that out there for me? Please leave a comment. So I'm either looking at another set of carburetors or just number four carburetor will do. And I know that's not going to be cheap. It'd be cheaper to buy a donor bike. Should have bought a donor bike at first, shouldn't I? But you live and learn, don't you? So, what can we say? Not very often something that wins me, but uh, I think this one's beat me. Uh, I don't know. Bloody bikes. Looks like this is going to have to go into the tin shed after all, till I can get some carburetors. I don't really want to do that because I've got to start the CBR. The CBR is going to be in here in bits. I won't be able to move it. Then I'll have nowhere to work on this. I'll have to work outside, I suppose. But that's the way it goes, isn't it? I think you're getting somewhere. But you're not. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, to share, comment, and you can press that little subscribe button down there in the corner. Like I say, I've got some videos coming out soon of my uh, guitar Wednesdays. Wed I've got one song what I've done, but I'm not going to put it up yet because I'm doing number two. But I don't know if you've noticed. Whenever I move my head, I have to move my body as well because the disc in my neck has been playing up and I know why it's been playing up. That's because I've been playing on my guitar, stretching down, looking like that. It's affected my spine, so sometimes when I'm playing I'm getting pins and needles Last week I couldn't move at all, and my neck was locked, and all I did was woke up from a sleep, and there it was. Thank you. Yes, he sent something down for me to stop me having fun on my guitar. So, yep, yeah. see you again soon. Mm -hmm.